So I am making a second video in one day, and I just took some new photographs, some of which are cute, like funny. At any rate, um, I'm going to move on and say that I can elaborate further now. This on a fucking stupidity of people, I'm telling you. I have a Gmail account, and I block people right and fucking left on there. If you, my ad plainly says, if you're interested in dating, which I'm really not even interested in dating myself, but if that's your interest, then put that in the subject line. If you're interested in a massage, put that in the subject line. And suddenly my hair just started to attack my fucking eyeball. At any rate, um, if you're on a dating site, okay, women are intelligent enough to realize that we try to post photographs of ourself so you can get a clear picture of who we are. Which means there's one fucking person in the photograph. Or we are with an animal. So it's not that difficult to tell which person we are. I get photographs from people all the time. With 20 fucking people in the goddamn picture. Or on dating sites. Like I just logged into my Plenty of Fish dating site. Which I never get on that shit. I just want to... To make another video and I needed some, um, I guess, some information to share so that I could actually make a video. There are pictures of guys on there with two or three people in the fucking picture. Or they're at a party. Or they say... That they have a little sub note under there that says, I'm the one on the left. Who's fucking left? Your left or my left? You know? The left at the way you're looking at the fucking picture? Or the left of the actual, you know what I mean. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Guess who the fuck you are and what you look like? And the funny part is, is these people will only have one photograph like that. So you can't tell who they are by a deduction of, oh, well, you may have other photographs. You know, so I can kind of deduce which one he is in this picture. Or all of their fucking pictures have a group of goddamn people in them. You know, like you're... I've literally asked people before that send me that. Am I supposed to just fucking guess who you are? I mean, I can elaborate further. I'm sure you can tell how thrilled I am right now. I'm in a fucking um, frustrated mood. This guy just sends me a message on my Gmail account. And you'll never guess what it says. The only content of the email is, the sale is... And then a phone number. I should tell you what the fuck his phone number is so everybody can call this idiot and make fun of him. No photograph. No further information. So guess what I do? 
I send him my motherfucking massage ad and pictures of the massage room like I would if somebody was wanting a massage. What else am I to assume? So he writes back to me and says, I was talking about the dating part. I just fucking threw my hands up in the damn air. I'm like, is this shit really going to fucking continue? I was talking about the dating part. Okay. So it's okay now to just give people your fucking phone number. I come from an era where you don't just give out your fucking phone number. Don't take candies from, or candy, whatever, don't, or money from a goddamn stranger. That's the way that I was raised. There was not a, uh, well, here's my phone number. Here's my fucking address. I get some, sometimes that people are like, what's your phone number? What's your address? I don't fucking know you. I don't want you showing up at my house because that's the quickest way to get a bullet in your fucking head. I don't like strangers texting my phone unless they're a potential client. And I certainly don't like people just showing up on my fucking property at all. Yeah, that's the that's extremely fucking dangerous for and when I feel like I'm not a flight kind of bitch. I'm a fight kind of bitch. You understand what I'm saying? In psychology, there are the people who are flyers or fighters. Which means if you're in a confrontation, you're either going to run away from it, or you're going to actually stand there and whip somebody's fucking ass. Well, I'm the whip the ass kind of bitch. There are obviously very strong differences between being a woman and a man. For instance, uh, when a woman wakes up in the morning, we have an entire fucking list of things that go flying through our mind of what we have to do for the day. And one of my exes used to make fun of me because as soon as my foot would hit the floor in the morning when I woke up, it was coffee, cigarette, check my social media and all that, and then what is for dinner? What should I make for dinner? What am I going to make for dinner? And mind you, dinner is like 12 hours away at this point in time, if not longer away, 13, 14 hours. But as soon as my foot hits the fucking floor in the morning, that's what I'm talking about. Am I going to be able to pay this bill today? Um, blah, 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 blah. That's what goes through a woman's mind. I think men wake up and it's like, I don't know what, what, is on their mind, but it's almost like they wake up in fucking sunbeams. Like, I'm so fucking great. I'm so goddamn amazing. I have nothing to worry about for the day other than going to work, if even if that's even in their mind at that point in time. Who, who the fuck knows? But honestly, we'll move past that because I want to tell you, I got another email just now in the pause, and this guy says, Will you be nude during the massage? Now, I cannot tell you how many times a day that I get this question. I'm going to let that shock value set in for a minute. I am quick to tell most of them. My own goddamn boyfriend. It's an act of Congress for him to even be able to see me naked. Do you honestly fucking think that I'm going to let you see me naked? And who the fuck asked that to a perfect goddamn stranger? Uh, now, I will tell you that there are people around here who do massage that are just fucking scum of the earth nasty that I have found out that are also massage therapists who actually do that. And I've talked about that in my other videos. So they have pretty much trained these people to fucking ask that question which that's an entirely different subject an entirely different animal all by itself so anyhow I want to tell y'all a joke tell me how funny you think this is this guy writes me the other day and he goes what rhymes with orange and I said no it doesn't and he didn't get it 
if you don't get it either, what does not rhyme with orange? I can vocalize right this very moment in time just how fucking distracted that I get with shit. I just made a fucking 30 minute video because I'm to pause this one of me sitting here doing my natural routine which nobody wants to fucking see any of that. So, here is one of my worst pet peeves and will, aside from dick pics that men have the fucking audacity to just send you for no reason or rhyme, this is another pet peeve. Have you ever gotten an email from Hot Sexy Stud? And these are real emails with real people behind them, not bots or whores. Or an email from sexiest guy in whatever city. Fill in the blank there. My... I, I, I don't even know how to respond to people that do that shit. Or I'll get, get an email... I'm hot and I'm fun to be around and uh, all these other things. Just, oh, just praise yourself. Praise yourself. You're the fucking best thing since goddamn sliced bread. You know, my theory is, and the way that women are raised, is you don't get up and start talking about yourself. Was the devil not thrown into hell because of his fucking pride? Yes, I think that he was. Even if you don't believe in that religion, who the fuck are you to get up and just commend yourself every fucking day like you're the best thing that ever happened? I do not know how men and women differ so much in that territory. We beat ourselves up all the fucking time over shit. That somebody telling me that they're handsome, uh, I'll straight up tell them, uh, that is for me to decide, not you. Or for someone else to decide, not you. You don't get to just say that shit. You know? I'm like, that's for somebody else to say. And who the fuck says that shit about their own self? Uh, that screams to me that you have no fucking self-esteem whatsoever. And I cannot stand people that do not have fucking self-esteem and try to hide that shit. It's fine if you don't have it and you talk about it or discuss it and try to make yourself a better person. But if you just have all this fucking self-esteem, go suck your own dick, motherfucker. Do not contact me at all. Ever. Here is a perfect and immediate example of what the hell I'm talking about with these fucking stupid motherfuckers. This guy says, rates. And a question mark. And that's all I get in this email. So I send him my ad, and it plainly says, I massage everything but chest, feet, and genitals. Because most people don't like those parts of their body to be touched. You know? Just, I mean, that'll catch you off guard real goddamn quick if somebody grabs one of those areas. You know, I mean, if I went to a massage and somebody just started grabbing on my tits, I'd break their fucking nose, you know? So this dude responds, okay, cool. Hmm, genitals, explain. If I have to explain to you what genitals are, you're not even in the same ballpark as me. So don't waste my fucking time. Here's a subject for you that's been covered many times by many of my comrades and fellow female comedians. Since everybody thinks I'm some kind of fucking spectacular thing. Um, dick pics. Let me explain something to you. No woman wants to see your fucking dick. Get that in your head. Now. No woman on this fucking globe wants to see your dick. And if she asks for a picture of it, which will... Oh my god, I'd rather be struck by fucking lightning or eaten by a shark. They are the ugliest fucking things that have ever been created. No woman wants to see that shit. If she does ask for it, 
She's a desperate fucking whore, and she's just doing that shit to be nice. To make your self-esteem grow like you need any more of that shit, since men seem to have so much of that shit these days. They can't fucking do anything or hold down a job. Half of them don't have a goddamn vehicle or a job at all. And they're smoking drugs and shooting up shit and doing all this. Like they're so, I mean, do you really think you're that fucking spectacular? I mean, come on with this bullshit. I was just talking to this guy. He was like, do you have any other photographs? And I was like, sure, I'll send some. And I sent him, you know, I used to model. So I said, I'm like, I got thousands of fucking pictures. I don't care. I'll send you whatever the fuck you want to see. You know, ex other than the pussy pics and all that. Do you know how fucking hard it is for a girl to take a picture of her goddamn pussy? Most of the time, they have to have other people do that for them. And I do not speak from experience of trying to take a picture of my own. I speak from experience of girlfriends asking me to do that for them. And I'm like, bitch, I'm not taking a picture of your fucking pussy. I'm not into that kind of shit. I don't want to see your fucking pussy. It's nightmare enough for me to look down at my own most of the time, and I'm quite proud of her. So, you know, it ain't happening today or any other day or in this fucking lifetime. You know, the only people taking a picture of my fucking pussy is my goddamn doctor, and they don't even do that. You understand? But this dick pic craze that's going on, no woman wants to see that. None of us. It's fucking ugly. And your balls, I mean, that, that's just a cherry on top of it. No. We do not want to see so that So the crap. point I was trying to make is, I was fully expecting to see some pictures of this guy's face when I read it received an email from him. Sorry, my eyes are drying out. Hang on a second, guys. I was fully expecting to open the email and see pictures of his face, you know, so we can kind of play the getting to know you game. Oh, no. Dick pic. I'm scrolling down, and here's a fucking dick. And I was like, uh, I kind of meant pictures of your face. Nice dick and all. There's a, let me pat you on the back, you know, even though I don't fucking know you. You know, pat yourself on the back, that's a nice dick, but, uh, I kind of meant I wanted pictures of your fucking face. I want to see if you have any teeth, because in this area, that's another thing that men do not have, aside from a car or a job or a decent fucking personality. They don't have any goddamn teeth. And... That tells me that you have bad fucking genetics. And I'm certainly not going to spend any length of time of my life with somebody with bad fucking genes. For those of you who aren't aware of it by now, I'm a very direct person. I don't know how else to describe that other than a brutally honest fucking cunt sometimes. I don't care if I hurt your fucking feelings most of the time or not. So when I say something, I fucking mean it. I can't even stand for my computer to, to say or send a message to me. Are you sure you really want to delete this file? Fuck yeah, I'm goddamn sure. Why are you even asking me this bullshit? If I didn't want to fucking delete it, I would not have right clicked and pressed the button delete. Okay? So when uh, I ask my man, whoever he is at the time, and there is one I'm talking to right now. Where do you want to go eat, honey? And he says, oh, baby, I don't care. You pick, you know. That's a fucking trap. Okay? A fucking trap. Because I'll be like, well, let's go to Outback. You know, that's really the only restaurant I really trust and my friends work there and I always get discounts and shit so let's just go to Outback here we go well I don't want to go there to eat 
Well, where the fuck do you want to go? I ask you a goddamn specific and direct question. Do you mind fucking making a decision? I cannot stand anybody that cannot make a fucking decision. Okay? If you don't know what the fuck you want, I'm not going to tell you. Or, if you're pussy fucking around long enough, I'm going to be like, we're either fucking going there or we're not going to goddamn go nowhere at all. Because I'm not fucking cooking goddamn dinner. Just to make you as miserable as I possibly can because you're grating on my fucking nerves. Okay? So pick a fucking place to go goddamn eat if you don't want to go to Outback. My, this guy that I'm talking to is funny as hell today. He goes, you kind of scare me. And I'm like, well, I should. You know, that's not my intention. I just want to be around and associate with people who can make a fucking decision and who have a bit of brains and can make conclusions and read a fucking book and have an intelligent conversation. Is that too goddamn much to ask for? And have all of their fucking teeth. Or at least the majority of the front ones. You know, hey, I don't, I mean, come on, people. Come on. I'm going to try to make two points in this part of this video. Uh, it is very dangerous for you to not say exactly what you mean. And I make it my life challenge to fucking say and tell people exactly what I am trying to say when I say something. So I try to say it correctly the first time. Like, I'll be talking to a guy and he'll be like, well, I'll, uh, let me go back to work and I'll text you when I get off. And I'm like, I don't wanna fucking know when you get off. You know? You mean when you get off of work? I mean, make yourself clear to people. Uh, people are not fucking mind readers, and everybody has a different accent, a dialect, all of that. M say what you mean. Please say what you mean. I mean, goddamn people. I, I spend more time trying to figure out what tr somebody's trying to say whenever they don't know how to use punctuation or whenever they're trying to send a subliminal message or they are in a roundabout way say shit or don't fill in the fucking absolutely necessary blanks so your brain can comprehend what the fuck kind of point they're trying to get across i mean come on have we really gotten that fucking lazy as a society jesus christ There's another point I wanted to make about my mother. She's one of them people that do that. That shit drives me fucking crazy. One minute it's this, next minute it's that. One minute it's, why do you and your sister drink so much? I'm like, what the fuck do you think I am? A camel? An alcoholic? I don't drink that much. That shows how highly you think of me. You know? It should be like, why, why y'all drink so much? Oh, then five minutes later, she'll be like, well, why don't we invite your sister over for a glass of wine? Bitch, you just fucking told me that I drank too goddamn much, and now you're trying to force feed it to me? Are you fucking kidding me? She's a Gemini, mind you. Which, they can never make up their fucking mind. They're always going in opposite goddamn directions. Constantly with everything. And uh, my mother is the worst kind of Gemini. She'll be like, I'll be there in 30 minutes. I'm like, either I don't know what the fuck 30 minutes is or it's been three goddamn hours. You know? My sister and I constantly laugh at my mother about this shit. And it's not really funny because sometimes we have to be certain places at certain times. But, uh, Mama, I wish she don't give a fuck. I'm here to tell you. She, my mother does not give a fuck. Who else is involved in the situation? If she makes plans, she don't give a fuck. 
She will fucking tell you she'll be at a certain place at a certain time. You'll be there like at a restaurant for three goddamn hours waiting on her ass. Oh, I had to stop a couple places. Or she'll even get to the point she'll tell you I had to stop. I gotta stop a couple places first. It'll be 30 minutes or an hour before I can get there. So my sister and I will make plans. We'll be like, okay, well, let's just wait to go because we don't want to be sitting there. And we'll get there like at the, about the 30 minute mark. Nope. Bitch ain't nowhere to be fucking found. We're calling, texting. You know, my aunt had a party a few weeks ago for my niece's christening. And mom was like, I gotta go to the grocery store. Well, the grocery store that she goes to is 30 minutes away from her house. Which, 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back. She waits till the last fucking minute to leave when we've got like an hour before we're supposed to be at the party. And I'm like, bitch, I know you're not going to go in no fucking grocery store and get out in one minute time so we can be at this party on time. That ain't going to happen. Because my mother is one of these people that uses coupons. And trust me when I say, I don't understand that concept. If something is on sale, fine, buy it. But my mother has to use her fucking coupons. Uh, Bob Clorox, for instance, she got a 50 cent off coupon for that shit. I have got to buy a bottle of Clorox so I can use this coupon. Clorox goes on sale once every two weeks. I know it because I used to work in a fucking grocery store and they alternate what goes on sale. That's why you can go in there one week and something will be on sale and then go back two weeks later and it'll still be on sale. But it changes up like that. It's usually once every second or third week that it'll be back on sale no honey she i'm like wait till the shit goes on fucking sale and then use the coupon because you're saving more money no i've got to use this coupon it's about to expire i'm like bitch the goddamn thing don't expire for a fucking another month what are you talking about does anybody else have a parent like this my mother will drive my sister and i that shit goddamn crazy crazy with the her shenanigans i mean we will have plans my sister and i like to plan out the next day or what we're going to do for dinner that night you know are we going to all get together and have dinner or are we going to like let's cook out tomorrow let's cook out steaks tomorrow you know and my mother will be the first fucking person to throw a wrench in that shit the next day we're all my sister and i'll be all excited our families together you know um, we're ready to have steaks and shit, and mama will pop up at the last goddamn minute and be like, I'm not in the mood for steak, why don't we, why don't you girls make barbecue and baked beans? And we're like, bitch, we're having fucking steak. We've been looking forward to this shit for, uh, 24 hours or more now, and that is what the fuck we're having. I'm telling you, my sister and I can eat steak and potatoes like they're going out of style. But my mother, every single time, and this is every single time, never failing. It's always, whatever plan we've made, psh, wrench right in the fucking spokes. It never fucking happens with her. And then she'll get all pissy mad at us, like it's our goddamn fault, and be like, well, I'm just not going to eat. Or, like at New Year's, for instance, she, she is so used to eating by herself. She thinks she's cooking a New Year's dinner or a Christmas dinner, and she'll buy one fucking can of beans, the little can. And then she'll be like, when everybody gets a spoonful of it, you know, about three or four people can eat that, maybe. I mean, I can eat a fucking can of beans myself. And she gets one can of fucking beans. All the stores are closed now, so there's no going to get more beans. And she's like, the last one to get up and eat anything. And she's like, well, uh, there aren't no beans left. Duh. We told you that we needed more shit. You know, you can't do that. It's just, oh my God, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm surprised my sister and I will have lived this fucking long. And she's like, want to talk about what do you drink so much for? I told her the other day, I'm like, bitch, I drink because of you, which is not true. 
ultimately not true. My drinking is my own responsibility, and I don't even drink that much. I mean, I'm, I never get drunk, drunk, ever. I've not done that since I was in my fucking 20s. You know? But she acts like I'm just getting shit-faced every goddamn night. I'm going to end this video by saying I love you guys. Get me some subscribers. Get more people watching my videos. Because the ones that I've made lately are pretty fucking funny. But also, as a side note from what I just said earlier, or a second ago actually, my sister and I are planners. And that means... That if we make fucking plans to do something, and you try to change them, then it's very easy for us to piss you the fuck off quickly, because we do not like that shit. That's why we have discussions about what is going to happen in the future in the first goddamn place. So if you're with a planner, a person who plans things out, don't be spontaneous and change shit on them at the last fucking minute. It blows our mind and throws off our entire train of thought. So, I love you guys. You know how to contact me. You can leave comments on my videos. I love that shit. I love feedback. 